Why not Korean barbecue beef? And Lee Clayton Roper from a well seasoned kitchen here to show us how to do it. You said it's actually not barbecue, right? It's actually not barbecue. You cook it on the cooktop. But it has that same taste and that same feel. It's a lot exactly. easier than doing it old school. Exactly. So exactly. how do we do it? Okay, it's it's really not complicated at all. It's like the rest of the recipes in our cookbook, A Well Seasoned Kitchen. Sure. Not complicated to make, but full of lots of flavor. We start with the so marinade. First, we start with the marinade, and I've had a little jump start here. I've already put in the peeled and grated ginger, chopped okay. garlic, ginger, garlic, sherry, soy sauce, sesame oil, a little dab of oyster sauce, and a little dab of Tabasco. Okay. So then, if you want to mix in, that's chopped cilantro. Some cilantro, in it goes. Yep. Some chopped onion. A little chopped onion, very easy. Brown sugar. Brown. Whoops. There's a spoon for that. over there. Little brown sugar. And sesame seeds. And, and if you want to stir all seeds. that up, the proportions are all on the on your website. The Got recipe's it. there, um, so people can find them there to make. Now, this. would you make this the night before and marinate the beef overnight with this? Or? You can, but you don't have to. It really only needs to be marinated for at least two hours. Two hours. So you can do it in the morning. It's this quick to put together. So. Very easy, and just a couple of quick tips on some of the ingredients. For cilantro and parsley, this is how I like to store it. You can just put it in a short glass like this with like water. Like a flower vase. Put the bunch in there and stick it in your fridge, and it'll last until you use it up. That's nice. So oh, honey, you got me that. flowers. <laughs> no, it's cilantro. Okay. So or parsley. Or yeah, parsley. So away we go. We've marinated the beef. Yep. You've done yep. that over there, right? Now that goes in there. All if right. you want to do that. And then over here, this has already been marinated, and I've started taking it out. But basically, you take, you're going to preserve the marinade, so you just take the pieces out and kind of let the... The marinade drip off. Okay. And then while you're doing that, you've been heating this pan. Medium heat. Medium heat. And then you put these in here and they'll start cooking up right away. Sure. You and can then hear you them basically sizzling. you put all the beef in there. Let me just grab these last two pieces. On medium heat, you cover it and you let it cook for ten minutes. Ten and minutes. It, mm -hmm, and it just really gets nice and juicy. All the juice comes out. You cook it till the meat's cooked through. Then you put the marinade in there, stir it up, uncover it. Turn down the heat a tad, let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. It's that easy. That easy, and you serve it over brown rice. Over brown rice, it's healthy, it's easy, it has a delicious Mongolian barbecue or Korean barbecue okay. feel, taste, without all the work. All right, Sally, great to see you. So you'll be at my place to cook dinner for Jackie, what, 6, 6.30? Happy to. We we'll can bring do it. this. It's a belated birthday dinner. I love the recipe. And by the okay. way, as Sally mentioned, the whole recipe on our website, kwgn.com. It smells wonderful. Thank you. We'll try it after the commercial break.